Hi, my name is Chad Mavius. Uh, I was born and raised in Sycamore, Illinois. I have uh, lived on the West Coast for the past 12 years and have just uh, relocated back to Northern Michigan. I uh, grew up in Sycamore, Illinois. I ended up going to school at Northern Illinois University and I graduated with a degree in corporate communications in 1998. I have uh, worked at four different facilities. The first golf course I worked at was Sycamore Golf Club in Sycamore, Illinois, just a daily fee public golf course. When my wife and I relocated to the West Coast, I got in with the Pebble Beach Company and worked at Del Monte Golf Course, which is the oldest golf course uh, in continuous operation west of the Mississippi. From there, I transferred to Pebble Beach Golf Links, where I worked for, oh, just over a decade, and now here at Forest Dunes. Uh, my dad is, a, is an accom accomplished player, so I started to uh, play golf at a very young age. I think my earliest memories are about age seven and uh, was kind of bit by the golf bug, probably in junior high. Uh, I played a lot of different sports, but the, the true love of all the sports that I played was probably golf. And in college, I made a decision through playing college golf uh, to continue my career in, uh, in the PGA. You know, I had kind of run my course uh, at Pebble Beach Golf Links. I had a tremendous uh, experience and career there and I was looking for a special opportunity at a special place uh, to advance my career and um, Forest Dunes fit that bill. Uh, this is a top 100 facility. It has a wonderful staff, a wonderful building, a championship golf course. And when this opportunity came up, uh, it, it was not a hard decision to, uh, to make the move here at Forest Dunes. You know, it's funny, every time uh, I had guest interactions uh, at Pebble Beach, obviously it's an international known company, uh, anytime I had experiences with uh, native Chicagoans or people from Michigan, I would have conversations and uh, especially related to Michigan, Forest Dunes always came up. They would ask, have you played Arcadia Bluffs? Have you played Crystal Downs? Have you played Forest Dunes? Uh, so Forest Dunes was a course that was on my radar probably a few years ago. And uh, my wife being from Northern Michigan, I actually got an opportunity last year to come out and play it and just fell in love with the facility. You know, I loved uh, so many things about Pebble Beach. Uh, they gave me an opportunity to work for the company. I was able to excel and be promoted in the company. I was able to uh, be one of, I believe, 15 or 17 US Open committee chairman for the 2010 US Open. Those are experiences that, um, that have obviously shaped me as a golf professional and as a, a professional person. Uh, experiences that are very hard to come by. So, you know, Pebble Beach will always have a place in my heart. It will always kind of be a second family uh, to me. But um, it, it was special. It's kind of, I've often referred to Pebble Beach as an adult Disneyland. Uh, it costs a lot to play. You meet everyone from uh, musicians to athletes to celebrities to, you know, a person from Midland, Michigan, who saved three or four years to be able to come out and play. So it's a special place because it's open to everyone, but it also attracts everyone. Um, during the 2010 U.S. Open, the USGA uh, took roots about two years prior. So 2008, the USGA uh, was on grounds, on property, in the planning and preparation for the 2010 U.S. Open. Um, part of my responsibility uh, as the U.S. Open Committee Chairman was kind of in the transportation area. I think I dealt with 500 different cart allocations through a several month period, um, as well as just helping with all of the, the general uh, golf duties for the week, whether it be driving range or player hospitality or um, it was so widespread and we worked so many hours it's almost uh, it's almost hard to remember all the areas that, that we were in charge of and, and things that we were able to do. But uh, tremendous experience working with the USGA, working with uh, all the other departments in our company uh, to pull off our national championship was something that I did not take for granted and I knew it was probably only going to happen one time for me. Uh, I would say it's twofold with my teaching philosophy. One is, uh, and it's probably been, been said before, but keep it simple. Uh, you know, I'm a firm believer that probably 90% of what needs to be corrected comes from basic fundamentals, uh, grip stance, posture, uh, grip pressure, so on and so forth. Uh, and I love teaching the short game. So I think uh, most people spend a majority of their time hitting balls, which is important, but um, if you watch PGA Tour events and are behind the scenes, which I've been fortunate to do for many years, you'll see how much time professionals actually spend on the putting green and short game area versus the driving range. On a day-to-day -day, uh, 
daily operation like here at Forest Dunes, I would guess that most people spend their time on the driving range, not the short game area. I am, uh, I am big into sports and athletics, so I love following uh, all the sports teams. I, I grew up playing so many different sports. I enjoy playing hockey. Uh, I grew up playing baseball and basketball. and um, I also fish. I like being outdoors. I like uh, taking hikes with my wife. And uh, pretty much anything that has to, I'm the type of person that would, uh, instead of laying on a beach to be outside, I'd rather be active on the beach. So whether it be throwing a football, playing golf, throwing a f uh, fishing pole in the water, throwing a line in the water, I should say. Um, just like being outdoors. Favorite pro, pro golfer of all time is probably Payne Stewart. Favorite uh, modern golfer is probably Webb Simpson. Alistair McKenzie. Um, being on the West Coast, I had the opportunity to, to play a lot of uh, McKenzie courses. Uh, love McKenzie bunkering. I would probably say any course uh, that I could play with my father. Um, I think there are probably 20 golf courses that I love, this being one of them. Uh, golf course design and affection is so subjective. Uh, so it's easy to say Pebble Beach or Cypress Point or Forest Dunes, but uh, for me it's who's in the foursome. We really say Cypress Point, Crystal Downs, San Francisco Golf Club. People, the family, uh, my wife's from Northern Michigan. Uh, all of her family is here within 45 minutes of us. My family's in Chicago. Um, but we have missed the seasons for the past 12, 12 years or so, so looking forward to experience fall and, and winter, which some people might find funny. Um, but just general Midwestern people. Um, the West Coast is definitely different, and we're happy to, uh, to get back to what we're used to being from the Midwest. Uh, the winter, winter uh, weather. Um, oftentimes I would play, play golf uh, around the holidays and call my dad while he was shoveling snow, so I will definitely miss the weather in California. Uh, has to be Michael Jordan. Um, I'm a Chicagoan, so I was able to grow up uh, and, and watch him in his heyday. So, Michael Jordan. It's the Red Wings, but Red Wings, we are a far superior team. <laughs> Chicago Blackhawks. I'm not sure if anyone knows who won the Stanley Cup this year, but it is the Chicago Blackhawks. So, all the, uh, the Michigan people, I do apologize that we came back from a 3-1 deficit against the Red Wings, but we are a far superior team. Uh, favorite music group, U2. Um, I've seen U2, I think, eight or nine times in concert. Uh, not only do I love the music, but love uh, their philanthropy and how they deal with world issues. Wow, favorite TV show would probably have to be Seinfeld. This is Chad Mavius, head golf professional at Forest Dunes, and you're watching FD TV.